Moments Homebrew coming at ya. Happy Homebrew Wednesday and Happy New Year. It is December 31st. Tomorrow starts 2015. And for those of you on the other side of the world, uh, Happy New Year to you already. It's your new year, Australia and New Zealand. So Happy New Year's. Wow, this has been an amazing year. An amazing year. And one of the big things, we finally wrapped up the 2014 SJ Poor Challenge. That's right, it finally ended. 14 countries were involved. That's amazing. I mean, we had competitions in other countries last year, but it didn't go global with exchanging. And there were some trials there. And we, ha we have a lot of learning uh, to do this next year to improve. But I tell you what, it was, it was amazing. And it was fun to be a participant in that. And uh, it, I can't wait to see how this is going to grow and change this next year. There will be some changes and growth, and, and we'll see how that goes. 14 countries. That's awesome. Well over 100 brewers. I don't know. We had like 180 registers. So that's something. It's time for me to officially pass my crown to Nathan Pico. Nathan not only won for the U.S. like I did last year, but he won for the world and uh, uh, what a joy. Nate, Nate is an awesome guy. I, um, I get to chat and crack jokes with him every week. Uh, we're, we're communicating with some of the other guys. and uh, What a wonderful individual. I, I'm just so happy to see him win and, and everything else. And so I need a beer in my hand. I need a beer as we start this off. So what better than this? I've got one from under the table brewing from Nathan and Brad right here. It's the Nanu Nanu Castle version number two. It's a coffee caramel beer and it's 4.5%. I love how they make these very sessionable beers. That's wonderful. So we're going to go ahead and get that one poured right away. I also uh, need to say huge congratulations to second place. Another amazing individual, well loved within the community which is Grant Baker. So cheers to you, Grant. Awesome, awesome job. Ooh, that smells nice. A low ABV with some nice aroma on there. Wow. You know, we've got some amazing fine home brewers in this community and many have gone pro. Uh, that's a real testament to, to what's gone on. And I know there will be a lot more coming in the future. Wow, guys. I like the coffee and caramel on this. Oh, another fine brew, gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks, Brad and Nate. Very awesome. Third place went to, I'm going to try to do this right, to Dan Filihia Hekava. And uh, he's also out of New Zealand. So New Zealand took second and third. Pretty amazing. Fourth place. A dear, dear friend again, Tony Yates, took fourth place. Um, and you know, what can you say about Tony? Everybody loves Tony. Amazing guy, amazing in the community. Been communicating back and forth with him. He is right now in Florida with his family, with his two twins, having a great time and his wife. Um, so cheers to you, Tony. Fifth place was taken by another U.S. person. It was taken by Rick Magine. Rick had his American style ESB. I freaking loved that beer and uh, uh, shared that recipe with uh, the UK with Harry Brew 69. I just thought it was fantastic. And he took fifth with a phenomenal beer that I plan to brew eventually here myself. And then sixth place, I want to go all the way down to sixth and men mention Brad Puka NC took sixth place with a hoppy red ale that I hear was supposed to be amazing. So congratulations to you, uh, Brad. Awesome. And all winners, go to the sjpoorchallenge.com and you can see all the winners listed. It's right here and you can go check it out. So fantastic. I also need to mention, I received this week, the traveling growler came from Doug at PFC Brewery. And that's in the fridge. And he sent me a couple of other beers as well. And I want to thank Joe, Pat's Fan 1284. Thanks, Pat, Joe, for setting that whole thing up. So I'm going to be enjoying that hopefully 
hopefully this weekend with Christian, we'll see. And uh, if I'm lucky, maybe we'll get Jesse over here uh, to come join us and uh, try that, but we'll save that for video for later. Um, also hoping this weekend I've got everything I need to cut out some time to make my blueberry mead. I've got myself set up to do a three gallon batch and uh, uh, I'm excited to do that and I will do this on film so you can, I'll have the steps and things included that I use to make the mead. And I've gotten lots of counseling by the way between Steve, the Canadian Sasquatch Brewery, from Larry, Larmo22, and SJ Poor himself. And uh, so I'll share some of those tips with you at that time, but I'm planning on brewing that and filming it. And then, um, oh, well, there you go. <laughs> you all know what that is. That means I've got beer mail. <laughs> so cheers to Paul from PA Brew News, and I'll put his link right there. Uh, Paul and I have worked on kind of a slow back and forth exchange for a while now, and Paul sent me some beers, so let me share those with you. So the first of the beers is Hot Damn. This one actually is not the name of it. It's called Snickle Fritz. It's an imperial milk stout from Saucony Creek, and this is why we say Hot Damn. <laughs> I loved the cover of this one. Paul grabbed me one. Thanks, Paul. That's awesome. The next one is a winter ale, a winter IPA. It's Blizzard of Hops from Trogues. So that should be a fun beer. Then we've got from Otto's. Now, I've heard this is good. This is the Jolly Roger Imperial Stout. And this is one I actually asked if he could find, and he did. So thank you, Paul. This is supposed to be an amazing stout. We'll do a review on this. Another one from Trogues, it's La Grave. It's a triple golden ale. So that one's unique, check out the top. So this should be a fun one. And then from Victory, we've got White Monkey, which is aged in wine barrels. This one's 9.5% ABV. So that should be a fun one to try. I've had one other beer from this brewery previously. It's from Blue Mountain Barrel House. They're calling this local species, okay? This is 6.6% .6 ABV, 24 IBUs, but it's uh, a Belgian-inspired, barrel-aged, American hopped, experiment sort of ale. So we'll just have to see what that one's all about. So awesome, I, I love creative things, so this should be great. And I saved this one for last. It's the Martians kidnapped Santa, okay? You've got to love the name, okay? And this one is an eggnog stout. Yeah, you heard it, it's an eggnog stout. I love eggnog. It's gonna be interesting to see how that one translates into a beer. It's from Springhouse. So, <laughs> that rounds out the group, but this is a fun one. So Paul, thank you so much. Uh, this is gonna be a fun set of beers to review for sure. I just wanna say Happy New Year to everyone. It's been a fun year. I haven't done as much brewing as I did in the previous year. I plan to do more and uh, have some more videos for you. Of course, more beer reviews, but we just wanna wish you all a very, very happy new year, a prosperous new year, and a great year of brewing and fun. From Clement's Homebrew, we'll see y'all next year. Cheers, guys.